welcome back. Okay, we are going to start a new series um, today, and I haven't planned this one. You know I don't work that way, <laughs> but um, it's just going to be a start to finish, so I don't know how many parts this is going to be. It's probably going to be a pretty long series, so I hope you guys aren't going to get too bored with it. Um, I don't know. I think I'll know as we go along. So you're probably wondering, well, what is she doing with those blue jeans? I have been wanting to do a <laughs> jean journal for a long time, and these jeans have been bothering me because I can't fit into them <laughs> anymore. So it's going to give me great pleasure to cut these things up because they've, they've been in my drawer for a couple of years and I keep thinking I'm going to get back into this I'm going to get back into this and finally it's just like Gina get real you are never going to be in those jeans again <laughs> so um, I'm going to take a lot of pleasure in finally being able to get these out because they're a constant reminder of what used to be <laughs> so here we go um, I know I'm going to want to do a similar size um, to the Hope Journal, which ended up being about uh, four and a half by six and a half, I think. So, I think what I'm going to do is just start with one of the legs and cut that apart. Now, like I said, I don't know what I want to do other than in my mind, I know how I want it to end up looking, and I want to include some lace and then let me show you this was a chapter one uh, inspiration box I bought ages ago and I'm so embarrassed to say I've not even used it I've had this probably six months now and this was one of the things um, that came in it she had a nice little assortment of laces and this is actually what inspired me, was this little piece here. But I'm not going to commit to, you know, that that's, that's what I'm going to end up doing. Because, you know, as things go on, I change. But this was actually what sparked the whole thing. So, um, I will keep that close by, but I may tweak it because... I've been gifted a couple of really pretty pieces that I want to be a focal point on the top of this. But having said that, I enjoyed the Hope Journal so much with the frame that um, this could very easily get changed. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I just want to make sure that this is going to be tall enough, plenty, because I want it to be somewhere around six six inches to seven inches so I'm just and then I know if we say four and a half we're gonna go about nine so I'm just gonna right now cut these um, and make, give myself plenty of room I always give myself plenty plenty of extra I can always cut it off later if it's too long, but I and then because I know I'm going to need to get rid of these seams as well. So, so yes, this is how um, I'm so excited to be working with denim because I love denim with lace. I just think it's absolutely beautiful combination. It, um, you know, I like the rugged with the. Um, you know, like the leather with the lace, um, you know, the Stevie Nicks song. It just, it appeals to me. And so denim is another one that I think with lace is just going to be beautiful. Um, I think somehow if I can incorporate this pocket, it's going to be tricky because, see, that's six inches. That's going to be over six inches so unless I extend the height I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make that work but the little coin pocket 
I might be able to cut this apart and salvage that. I'd have to stitch it at the bottom, but I might be able to work that in, or possibly one of the front ones. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. So this is just going to be um, kind of, you know, I hope you guys will enjoy it. I know a lot of people say they don't, they want to see the process, and I've got to be honest, when I'm making a journal, it's not easy um, to show you because once I get started on a journal, I get into such a zone to take time to video it, edit it, you lose that momentum. And so this is why I've, I've kind of struggled with these types of videos, but I'm going to give it a try and see. It's just I'm going to have to accept in my mind that this is not going to be done quickly because, you know, of sharing it with you guys. But there will be a lot of techniques in this that I have learned along the way that I've, because <clears throat> I've, I've studied a lot of courses and I've picked up a lot of things, but in the end you take things that you've learned from a course and you adapt them to yourself. So um, hopefully this will be beneficial to you guys somehow. So the first thing I'm going to do is just get this piece cut which I know I'm, it's going to be enough to do two journals, so I may as well just go ahead. <clears throat> I kind of like the idea of leaving that, the original stitching. Mm, I wonder if I could. Let me see how. I think I will on the bottom. I actually think that would be really cool just to have that original seam. It's going to add bulk to it, but I, I think it's worth doing. So in that case, I'm just going to go ahead and bring it over here. Because I think it would be nice to have a little bit of this kind of hanging over. I'll have to press that with an iron. I'll do that a bit. And, um, and see how if I'm going to like that. Because what I might do... <coughs> let me see where my... There was some lace in here, I don't know. Ooh, yeah, I actually really like the idea of that. I like the idea of pressing this. You see, which then is going to add more length to the journal. But keeping the size at about a 6x4, that would just be hanging over. I think that would be really pretty because you'd have this unfinished edge here that I could just stitch across there so it doesn't unravel too, too much. Because these newer jeans, you know, they've got that kind of like a stretch to them. Um, so I'm, sure I'm going to have to be conscious of that. I like the, the way that that that's looking because in my mind I'm thinking <clears throat> if that's on the bottom and then I don't know but if this is the front somehow layering and building upon that and I don't know would I use these probably not I don't think I, I don't think I would I think it would be nice just to have several laces underneath because I want to be able to see the denim and then on the back would be really cool if somehow I can get a pocket a denim um, pocket on the back but I don't know if that's going to work it might just be too big okay so that's where my head is at the moment guys and what I'm going to need to do is is get my iron get this pressed and then sew all of this and um and then I'm going to have to give some thought to the inside because I want to finish this. And mm, I think on the inside, I'd actually like to have a contrasting fabric. Okay. 
here's my little basket. And I may have put it in a different, let me see, pull this up here so you guys can see. I've got this over here, but it's gotten in such a mess again. That's not big enough, I don't think. No. See, I just, I've got these scraps and they're just weird. Um, but I pick this stuff up when I'm at the car boot and flea markets because you can get it so cheap. Ah, uh, this is the one I was thinking. I purchased this a while back and I really would like to work with that if I can. Because it's got the, um, oh, gone blank again. Oh gosh, you know, mm, forget what they call that. Salvage, the salvage. And I think it would be kind of cool to have that. But that's not going to be big enough, so I don't know. I may have to look through because I don't want it to be too pieced together. I think I'd rather find a whole... <clears throat> Yeah, what a shame I don't have a, a piece large enough. So I'll have to dig through, guys. So what I'm thinking um, I want to do is find some fabric inside, and then I'm going to sandwich some batting in this one just to give it a little bit of structure. And I'll probably put a piece of start cardstock as well because that will make it a little bit more rigid. So I will show you those steps as I'm doing them so that you can come along with me. So I hope you're going to enjoy this series. And um, like I said, you know, just beware that I do change as I go through a project. If, if I see that something's not going the way I like it, I might complain, you know, change directions completely. <laughs> but I've been wanting to make this for so long. And uh, so... Anyways, this is part one, and I am going to go now and try to get this pressed and come back, and I'll give you just an update of where we are before we move on to the next part. So, be back. Okay, guys, I am back. I've pressed this, and now I'm just going to um, clean this up a bit. I'm going to leave this at about... 10 inches because um, I am afraid I might cut it too short and once you do that you got problems so I'd rather just have too much and I can always adapt my papers um, to that size so now I'm just turning I just find it easier on here to just get everything nice and square and height wise if I keep the pages at six inches six and a half is going to be plenty so I'm I'm fine with that I'm going to go at six and a half here guys and uh I don't know, I could probably, oh, I don't know, a denim ruffle would be super thick, so I'm not going to bother even keeping those. Uh, isn't that, that's just typical crafter, isn't it? You want to hang on to everything. All right, so what did I say? I went <clears throat> at 10 and 6 and a half. so now this is the batting. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this down, and um, I don't like that to show so I'm gonna go oh sorry my brain I have to this this is why it takes me so long so 10 so um, I think I'm gonna go about nine and a half should be plenty I don't want it to be too short yeah I think that's good nine and a half Um, 
and I said this was what six, six and a half. So I'll go six on the middle, and then I'll just um, that looks a little bit straighter on that side. I'm not going to worry too much. If this was the fabric postcards, I'd make that a straight edge, but this is going to be fine. The main thing is I don't want that hanging out over because I, it, I don't want that to show. Okay, so the other thing... Okay, just one second. Let me grab the other fabric. Okay, I've decided on the Tim Holtz fabric for the inside. Um, so, what did I say? Six by ten. So I need to cut this now. And so let me. Gosh, I want to make sure I don't waste this. This is such pretty material, and I'm getting really low on it. go this way. So I'm going to cut this at six and a half. My blade's getting ready to go. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Okay, and then let me just check this if that needs tidying up a little bit. <clears throat> camera mount right here so it's not easy to cut that. All right, so I'm happy with that. So do it this way. So what I'm going to do <coughs> is just pin this. sandwich this lace. I really, really want that at the bottom, I think. I think that's such a pretty little piece. Okay, so <clears throat> I 
Okay, so that is my thoughts on that. But now that I'm into this, you see, I can tell whatever I'm going to want to add on this front cover. The only other thing I think I will sandwich a piece of cardstock in there, guys, just because it'll make it a little bit more rigid. You wouldn't have to do that. It's just something for my own preference on the feel of it. I'm going to put a piece of um, the heavy. I've got some of this heavy craft card, and I'll just sandwich another piece of that in there. But. I think before I stitch this that I'm I am probably going to need to go ahead and do that front although if I wanted to I could do what I did on the hope journal which was I just built the layers stitched that together and then glued it on. But I don't really like glue and stuff, i got to be honest. Alright, so that gives me an idea of where I am. Let me just now go grab some stuff because I do think I've got to go ahead and commit to this, the cover. And because what I'll need to do is then take the denim off and stitch everything on the cover then I can go through and put this down. So if that makes any sense, let me just pause it um, and I'll gather up what I think I'm going to do and see if that's the next step. Or... Hey everybody! Okay, yeah. So I'm back. Paul's just made me a cup of tea, so I'm going to sip on that while we talk about what's happening here. Okay, so I was digging through... I've got a large plastic container where I try to keep my doilies and then my large pieces of fabric. And I ran across these old hankies that I picked up at a car boot. You can tell they got some staining from age. But um, so I got to playing around and I'm kind of liking this. Um, you can't see. Because this is what I'm going to need to do. This is the hanky, and I've doubled it up because if you have it just a single layer, it's going to be too um, thin. And I don't like the look of that. So in my mind, I'm thinking what I'll do is take this to the machine, and I'll do a, a stitch around it. Then I will cut this into a square. And if I don't like the raw edges of that, um, well, I don't know. Uh, because I'm, I'm kind of set on, on that kind of look. I don't think I want to get into like a frame on this particular one. So, so I've got that as the final layer. I think that's a really pretty focal point. And I'm just going to show you guys the layers I've got on here. I've got this little piece. This is a Laura Ashley. I showed you it was a obviously an offcut of somebody had made a dress or something and uh, this is vintage Laura Ashley fabric so I'm going to have that that's the piece from <coughs> chapter one love that piece I, I do think it's worth putting that in because it's a contrast and I think this darker bit within that flower kind of pulls that up I, I think it looks nice I might change my mind and then I've got these two pieces and I want to do that because to balance that out. I don't want it to be too much denim. Um, and then in my mind I'm thinking somehow I'm going to take this fabric and I'm going to make a little denim pocket that's going to fit there and I'll probably put a little bit of lace on that. So yeah, I've got my work cut out for me on this one. But taking those off, I've got a doily, which I always like to use a doily on the spine. I think it looks really, really pretty. And then this is some um, lace I ordered, and unfortunately I ordered it online. It's that stretchy lace, and I'm not great with sewing, as you guys know. Um, so I really, this presents a big, big problem for me. The, the Because as you go along, it just keeps a stretch, and then you end up with a 
god awful mess. So whew, I don't know. I hope I can manage this. Um, but having said that, the good thing is that's a base layer. So if there is any gapping, I can probably cover it with these other bits that I'm adding to it. So that's that's where I'm at with this part one, guys. What I will do now is uh, stitch layer by layer, remembering that this first cover, we are going to take the denim back off from the layer. Let me see if I can do that. So I, do, I just want to make sure I'm not going to confuse you guys because these are all things I've learned. And um, I want to share that with you. And um, hopefully this will inspire you to kind of break out of your comfort zone and go into um, some different style journals. Um, because you can just take... What I like about this is you can take just little bits of scraps and and you can make, it's just incredible to me, just little pieces and you can turn it into something just amazing. So I hope this is going to inspire you guys. So that's what we're going to work on now is I will come through layer by layer just like I showed you and I'm going to stitch all these down and, um, and that will be part two because the the cover, generally, I start with my cover, and that is the inspiration behind how I form my journals, is I, I try to always get my cover done first, and uh, see how that's unraveling. This is that stretchy denim, so I'm going to have to really do a nice zigzag to stop that from continuing to unravel. And again, <clears throat> this is probably going to be a super challenging um, because I'm dealing with two stretchy bits of fabric, so um, I will show you guys in between what it's looking like, just so you, you will know, um, because if I end up with some gapping, it's probably going to be really useful for you guys to see how we overcome that. So, okay, let me get to my machine, and I'll be back with part two. <laughs> 